Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless on this All Holy Sabbath day. I've uh, been tuning into the IUIC classroom and during my search on YouTube, I always just check YouTube because I'm not really on any other social medias, but I've been coming across a lot of slanderous stuff about the Most High God, so I figured I'd bring it out in a video topic. So, uh, yeah, as you guys can see from the title above or below, depending on where you guys are watching this, um, I'm going to be talking about God is not Saturn. Uh, there are some coincidences. Uh, this might be a portrayal of Esau trying in the past and in current times, trying to make it out that our God is evil. Uh, God is not evil. This is literally just discipline for the children of him. Us, me. Um, due to our iniquity in the past, we proclaimed ourselves as God because, in a sense, we were his kingdom on earth. We, are, we were the physical representation of how to actually live life. And we honestly forgot how we got to that high status in the past, which was keeping the laws. And once we kept the laws to a T, we gained high status, we gained pretty much the whole world. And all we had to do was keep on track and stay in tune with what he had given us, but we started making our own rules, we started conversing and conveting with other nations, which led to the spiral of the downfall and the current state at which Israel is today. Um, that's going to lead me to say that some of the things that they say about Saturn are true. Saturn is not our God, but how they interpret our God is that in the form of Saturn, but Saturn, um, the cube symbology of the matrix is what they think is all of reality. And that's kind of true because this whole reality is just a timeout realm. I've said it in previous, previous videos that this feels like a school or a learning ground or, uh, for better lack of words, a punishment realm. And don't take that as this is hell. I mean, it kind of is. We're surrounded by complete and utter sin at all times, 24-7, seven, seven days a week. Um, but it's really just to bring us back to the current state that we had fallen from. Israel was perfect. We were perfect in the eyes of God. We're not the best people on earth because there are many of us. It's because there are few. We are the meek. And we shall inherit the earth if we come back to the commandments which brought us to the, in the past to the highest pinnacle of human evolution. Um, Saturn is not the most high, though. They might be saying that that is true, but it just isn't. Some similarities that I've been seeing with the Saturn is Yahuwah is that People are saying that this is a simulation. I would agree with that, but only for Esau, only for Edom. They are literally, how I've been seeing it through my biblical perspective, is Esau and Edom are literally just NPCs in this whole video game called the Resurrection of Israel. They are literally fucking computers set here to try and make us stray away from it as far away from God as possible and in some ways they are succeeding but with my vision and with my knowledge I can't fall back into my old ways um, I picked up this nicotine habit I'm done with this after this is completely out of nicotine I'm done defiling my body this is a temple of the Most High God Am I saying I am the vessel incarnate of the Most High? No. I am literally just as close to the original man as we can be due to our lineage and our genealogy. But um, 
as far as the whole comparisons, there's no comparison. God did not eat us. Well, he might have in a symbolical way, but we deserved it because we thought we were him. And that is the ultimate form of iniquity, the ultimate form of blasphemy that man could possibly have, or the Israelites, for a better lack of words. Man would has the presumption of all inclusion, but it's just Israel. Um, the Most High God of Israel is literally teaching his children in the grand scheme of things, in the all entirety of the universe that is a school we're just trying to become the smaller versions of him that we were supposed to be in the garden adam i don't want to say was going to become god but that might have been what the whole garden was for was to train us to inherit the kingdom and the Bible seems to agree with that immensely. But all in all, the original man, or the man formed from the dirt, has so many symbologies with how we are treated today. They literally treat us like dirt because we are from the original man who was created of dirt, which back in the day that would not have any negative connotation because there were no other men but men created from the dirt so it would be an honor to be made from the dirt rather than the negative connotation that it has in today's society of oh you're dirt you're nothing but the dust of the ground which is actually one of the biggest compliments that you could ever receive as an israelite because you know that you are connected to the first man adam in a genealogy um, position and of a spiritual connection um, this is going to lead me to say that I have been having immense dreams of men of the uh, the past I was in a desert I would assume that to be America a barren wasteland for instance like you've seen in all the music videos Justin Bieber, Kesha all these people that just walk through barren wastelands, that's a symbolization of America. But I was there, but it was ancient times. There were stones being built out of mud made from the sand, and there was this little girl who I'm assuming to be wisdom, and she told me to look around, or rather look behind me, and all I could see was somebody that I would assume to be Moses, that's just what popped into my head immediately as he was riding by on horseback. Why are there horses in the desert? I have no idea. That might be inaccurate, but he was on horseback and he was running to tell the children of Israel who they were. I followed him as fast as I could. I was keeping up with him at like a brinkneck pace. I don't know how I was running that quick, but keep in mind it's a dream, uh, tons of symbology. I was following him. And I finally followed him to the very end and then everything went black. Um, I'm assuming the blackness is the most high God's influence. If Jesus was as black as um, bronze being burned in a furnace, I'm assuming God is like, black black like my hair color black I'm very light skinned so that man must be all encompassing and beautiful so I followed him all the way to the very end and it transitioned from a scene of my old elementary school which I keep keep finding this in my dreams like it's always is a school it's either like a giant high school that's the size of a mall or it's my old elementary school like these connections are weird and they're all subjective you could say what you think that they are but I'm interpreting it as such and there were a set of children I was one of them we all had powers and we climbed to the very top 
of the building of my old elementary school. And as the ladder that we were making was shaking and almost falling apart, we made it to the very top and then everything went staticky, like one of those old fat box televisions, you know, the fat, fat ones. It went staticky. And all I could see was March 1st. Um, don't know what that means. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I feel like something dramatic is going to happen within the world tomorrow. Um, I'm just some dude from Oklahoma who's come into the truth of the Most High God. I don't know how credible this source of information is, take it as you will, but I think something dramatic is going to happen tomorrow. On Sunday, for all inclusiveness, which is, you know, proclaimed as the holy day, which today is Saturday, but those that will honor God on Sunday are doing a great blasphemy, so... Be careful with what you're worshiping tomorrow, and yeah, that's today's video, guys. A little weird, a little trippy. I tried not to make it super philosophical. I tried to tie it into the Bible as much as I could, but um, yeah, this has been Tristan, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Actually, I gotta show you the days. I'm trying to make a habit of that whenever I'm on the good old webcam. But yeah. Day 93, day 71 of the hygiene challenge. And I feel great. I'm gonna kick this habit as soon as it's done because I, n I need nothing chemical wise within my lungs that even saying that sentence doesn't even make sense like why would i put foreign chemicals inside my lungs to make me feel a certain type of way but yeah guys i'll see you guys in the next video